Okay, everyone. Today I'm going to remove a fallacy that people are saying that the uh, ROM manager doesn't work with the uh, AT&T Galaxy S2. Um, as you see here, I am uh, running, uh, let's see, I am running uh, the unnamed ROM. And let's go to about phone. And you'll see it says the unnamed ROM. Um, and up your ROMs and do ROM, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to open up ROM Manager. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Manage and Restore, uh, sorry, Backup Current ROM. And just so we see it here, I'm going to rename this Unnamed. One second, I'm going to pause it so I type this here. Okay, so I've uh, named it unnamed ROM. I don't know why it's not showing up in there. I'm going to hit OK. Now you're going to see ROM Manager is going to kick in and try rebooting. It'll come up with, uh, with an error. It doesn't make it all the way to CWM recovery. Okay, so at this point, what we need to do is hold down the three buttons. Okay. Keep holding it down until it actually turns the screen completely off. Then we'll let go. Then what will happen is it will start, restart, and it will actually resume where ROM Manager left off going into CWM and start performing the, uh, the backup of the ROM. As you can see, there it goes. I'm not going to record this all the way through, but as you can see, that works, and I'll come back to it once we're done here. Okay, back here, and uh, it finished up the thing here, and you'll see, go back to ROM Manager, I'm going to go for Manage and Restore, and you'll see, this is the one I just did, a named ROM. I already had a backup of it, but I was just showing you how it works, um, and that's that's it. Now to restore uh, these, you, you still have to go into CWM to restore uh, these, but they'll work just the same. Let's see, I'm going to, uh, I'll start a, another edition here and uh, show you how to switch from uh, unnamed ROM back to uh, Sajamod 7. Bye. Okay, here I am, I'm going to go and I'm going to hold the three buttons down. And I'm going to say reboot to oh, recovery. <clears throat> Come on, it's going. So, what we need to do to restore is go to, and I know it's kind of fuzzy here, I'm holding one phone, doing the other, is actually go and wipe data, factory reset, oops, forgot, you got to use the home button here, scroll down, home button, okay, and that'll wipe the data, hold on, hold on, bud. All right, so now it's wiped the data and factory reset. I'm going to go back to backup and restore. Uh, we don't have a I'm going to go back to restore. And I'm going to pick Sajamod 7 update. This was the last one I named it as. Let's go down to restore. As you can hear, my whole family decided to join me in here. And it 
it's going to start restoring for Grandma. me here. Grandma. Hang on, baby. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, it finished restoring, uh, which hopefully you guys all know how this works. It's on reboot system now, so I'm going to hit the home key, and you'll see that uh, <clears throat> since we did a uh, factory reset uh, before flashing it, uh, it needs to rebuild the cache, so it takes a little bit to boot, but you should see uh, my custom boot uh, animation come up for side your mod and that's how you go and restore hope this uh, can help other people out to figure out that ROM manager does work uh, there we go and I'm not going to enter my password right now alright hope this helps